Let's talk about cardiac tamponade. Now tamponade is all due to the amount of fluid that's gonna build up in the pericardial sac, like you can see here, that's what the heart is in. Now the pericardial sac is designed in order to create lubrication, so that way when the heart expands and contracts, it's sliding inside the pericardial sac, so that way it doesn't have a whole lot of friction because it's doing it over and over again, obviously, quite a few times a minute. And that pericardial sac is gonna allow for that nice fluid lubricated contraction so that way we can pump blood to the lungs or pump blood to the rest of the body, depending on which ventricle we're talking about. Now, tamponade, what's going to occur is that we're going to start to have fluid accumulation inside the pericardial sac, where it's not supposed to be. And it's going to continue to accumulate and take up space. And as it takes up more and more space, it means that there's less and less space for the muscle itself, the heart, to expand and contract. And if it can't do that, then we can't pump blood to the lungs and we can't pump blood all the way to the rest of the body. So creating what we call an obstructive shock. And it's all due to the accumulation of fluid inside the pericardial sac, not allowing the heart to expand and contract.